everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Welcome to a market update. This is a QQQs. So let's just take a look at everything that's going on here today. Market did gap down today, but it was not a gap down that I would have shorted. Uh, it just wasn't a good gap down. It was what I call a nothing gap. And that's pretty much how it's playing out. There's a small little range here in the market today. Doesn't look like much. Low is 89.73, high is 90.53. That's less than a dollar range for the market, but this is actually has a lot of significance because it's showing improving the strength of the market. This is almost setting up like a breakout play in the market. Base, 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 base. We did go higher here, but it's a basey base. Look, if you squish this together, like if I really squish this, these bars are pretty tight. So we're gonna break out. I, I, tomorrow is Friday. Uh, I don't know the economic data reporting tomorrow before the open, but the way that this is setting up here, it looks like we're going to gap neutral tomorrow, which would be bullish, or gap up tomorrow, which would be bullish. And we actually could just gap right up right over this area here, or actually anything, <laughs> so almost anything that we do tomorrow is going to be bullish. <laughs> if we gap up, we're bullish. If we gap near the close, we're bullish. If we gap a little bit under the close, we're bullish. Well, there's almost nothing that we could do here tomorrow to be bearish unless we gap down crazily, <laughs> which I don't see as happening. Low odds that happens. It could. Anything could happen. But to me, it appears that the market is holding the wonderful strength that it has and is actually the longer that it rests here, the bigger the move is going to make higher. So I think we need one stretchy stretch day up here in the market, a nice green day, and it could happen on Friday. It could happen tomorrow or, or it could happen next week. We'll have to see. If we end up staying here and resting for another one, two, three days, then the next move in the market is going to be pretty, pretty big. At this point now, if we break out like tomorrow, I think we're going to have a little rally and then pull in to uh, some kind of type of support level in here then. But I mean, the longer we wait around in here to get going again, the stronger we are going to make the move when we actually make the move, the bigger the move when we actually make the move up in the market. So really, really, if you have been looking to do plays with market direction, you have not had much momentum in the market in the last two weeks. The market is holding very strong. People keep thinking it's going to come in, but it's not. And it's very difficult to buy uh, this market because many people feel it's extended because of the rally that we had up here and then we made the new highs. But we're really, we're really not extended. And the longer we rest, the bigger the move is going to be when we actually make it. So at some point, we're going to come in, but it depends how long we rest here. We may not come in as quickly as I thought we might. Like, we could have actually pulled in this week, but it didn't shape up that way. Instead, the week was kind of like sideways, 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 sideways. It broke out higher here, but didn't really close that way. I mean, we just were sideways. So I thought maybe this week we'd pull in, but we didn't do it. Even the pull-in, I thought this week was going to be like a mini pull-in, but we didn't do it. And so the longer we hang up in midair, the stronger we are, the stronger we are. We're like the market is taking a nap. It's taking a nap to move higher. It's taking a nap to continue in the direction of the overall trend. And that's how this is setting up. The price is waiting, 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 waiting to go higher. And even the gap down today got bought, got bought here right away is a 10, 15 reversal time. The market double bottomed here right in the 15 minute. And you could have bought the market on that 15 minute, could have bought the market in the 15 minute at 12 o'clock, major reversal time, could have bought the market on a 15 minute at 2.45. Uh, so really nice, strong market, a lot of proof of the strength in the market here. Setting up like a breakout play, it's setting up to look like it's going to happen tomorrow. Again, I have to see where we gap tomorrow on the open, but very strong market is going to continue, at least for now. A pull-in's in sight somewhere, but it could be a week away at this point because the longer we rest here, the bigger the move it's going to be when we make it. The big move that happens when we rally over the next high could be in a series of one huge monster day, or it could set up like a concentrated rally of three to five green days. You just never know because you don't know how much buying is going to come into one singular day. You see these nice green fat bars here. Lots of buying came in these days. So when we actually do make the next push up, it could be a nice fat green like this or it could be like a medium green. And if it's like a medium green, then it's going to continue for a little bit up yet. 
some more of a rally before the next pull-in. But there's just no reason for anyone to think we're extended, and there's no reason for anyone to think that this market is going to turn bearish this year. Uh, talk to a lot of people, and people, I don't know why people always want to think something's going to change. Things tend not to want to change. That's the truth of it. It's easy for the market right now to continue to get bought and continue to go higher. That's the easiest thing for it to do, and it will do the easiest thing for it to do. It is easier for the market to continue to go higher right now. That's the easiest thing for it to do, and therefore that is what it's going to do right now. And when it becomes not easy for the market to do that anymore, then it will make a correction. But I just don't see any of that happening this whole year. Markets are showing so much strength every time it pulls in. It's a mini area, little bitty area, and it gets bought. Lots of strength in the market. Beautiful bullish chart. This is a QQQs. This is the Melissa with the stock swish.com. If you'd like more information on how to read charts based on price action, technical analysis, and how I read price, which is in gaps, you can email me at melissa at the stock swish.com. The next Golden Gap class is March 8th and 9th, and I teach people how to read gaps, and that's how I'm able to read the market so well. Okay? So we'll have to see here what the market does, but tomorrow, neutral gap, bullish. Small gap down, bullish. Gap up, bullish. <laughs> of the five choices for gaps tomorrow, they're all bullish unless we gap down something major, which, which I don't see. So have a great afternoon, everybody. If you'd like more information on the upcoming gap class, email me at melissa at the stock Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.